Hi guys, welcome back to Emerge Kenya TV. We hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you. So today guys, we'll be showing you East Africa's first floating bridge and also we'll be telling you why this bridge will be brought down. So we are currently standing on Mombasa mainland and the city you can see across from us is Mombasa Island. As most of you know, Mombasa city is an island. The island is separated from the mainland by two creeks, the Tudor Creek and the Kridini Humber. Mombasa Island is connected to the north by the Nyari Bridge, to the west by the Makupa Causeway, and where we are at the south in Likoni by the Likoni Ferry. Kiridini Harbour is where the port of Mombasa is located. For residents of Rikoni and Mombasa Mindra to cross the Kiridini Harbour, you had to use Rikoni Ferry. Until the Riwatoni Floating Bridge was constructed. Currently, the shortest route by road from Likoni to Mombasa Island is through Kware Town, which is 30 kilometers southwest of Mombasa. And that's why most people opt to use the Likoni Ferry. For this channel to grow, we are requesting you to like, to share, and to leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It is estimated that about 300,000 people and about 6,000 vehicles use the ferry daily, making the Rikoni Ferry very crowded and chaotic. The vessels are maintained and operated by the Kenya Ferry Services, but they are very old. There has also been numerous ferry accidents at this harbour, like notably the Mutongwe Ferry disaster and also several other near-miss incidents. Due to the increased demand as the population of Mombasa City has increased over the years, the viability of ferry services has become very limited. And that's why the floating Riwatoni Bridge was constructed. We would like to introduce you to Town Mesh, an app that allows you to share alerts and neighborhood information with your neighbors. You can receive traffic alerts and let your neighbors know of thefts, accidents, and lost items. Join your neighbors and stay connected with other towns or cities also on the go. This app is available today on Android via Play Store or on your iOS devices via App Store. Download Town Mesh today to be informed, empowered, and build your community. And register for free with your phone number. The floating Liwatoni pedestrian bridge was meant to reduce the congestion, especially during peak demand hours at the Rikoni Ferry. The Riwatoni Bridge was constructed as a temporary solution to ease the congestion and will be brought down approximately in 2025 after the Mombasa Gate Bridge is constructed. This floating bridge is about 1.2 kilometers long and was constructed at a cost of 17 million US dollars by the China Road and Bridge Corporation. In the middle section, it has a 150 meters swing opening to allow ships at the Mombasa port to pass through.
This bridge floats on water, meaning it moves up and down depending on the level of water in the Indian Ocean. It has a 6 meters wide bridge deck and 715 meters long floating section. This bridge can last for over 50 years, but once the Mombasa Gate Bridge is constructed, the Riwatoni Floating Bridge will be brought down and set up in other areas. The Dongo Kudu Mobasa Bypass, which is still under construction, will also help to ease the congestion at the Rikoni Ferry. So what do you think? Was the Riwatoni Bridge construction necessary? as a temporary solution to its congestion and then it's brought down. Please let us know at the comment section and we would really like to hear what you think. We thank you so much for watching this far, we really appreciate you. Please remember to like, to share and also leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Also please remember to download the Town Mesh app and stay connected on what's happening around your neighborhood. And until next time as we bring you more content, please be kind and generous to the people around you. Be blessed and have a good day. Cheers.